Hello, today we're going to look at how to analyze cell cycle data using Flojo. So with Flojo open, you drag across your cells, open them up and do your normal gating regime. So in this case, I'm just going to take the majority of these cells because it looks like a cell line. And then do my singlet discrimination. If you're doing cell cycle, one of the best ways to do singlet discrimination is to actually use your, uh, your cell cycle die. So it's also a good way to show people why it's important to do single discrimination because these doublet G1s would appear in this G2 population if you didn't exclude them. Single cells. And on the single cell population, you then go to tools, biology, cell cycle. On the x-axis, you choose your cell cycle uh, fluorescent parameter, which in this case is Herxt, which is the 45050 filter, the 355 laser, and it's automatically detected the G1, G2, and S phases for us. If the algorithm didn't work and didn't detect these peaks, you can use the constraints at the bottom and tell it where you think the G1 is. So if I choose range, I can see the G1 is between, say, 80,000 and 100,000. So I would just type in 80,000 and 100,000 and it would automatically detect the peak and work out the rest from there. If it failed the G2, you could do the same with the range or say in G1 times 2. If you want to use this data, if you want the image, you drag the cell cycle into the layout editor, statistics and the image. If you want just the statistics, you can use the table editor and again drag the cell cycle across. And that's it. That's how to do cell cycle in Flowdraw. Thank you for listening.